Yeah, see? Button men! See? Um, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Button men! Uh, it supports, I know, it's that bad. <laughs> it's a, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to look at Button Men. Idly's going to be helping me out with this one today. Uh, two players, ages 12 and up, and the average play time is about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, anyway. Swim with the fishes. Swim with the fishes. <laughs> oh, so gangsta. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, button Men. This just came in the mail today, folks, so this is our first time playing. Keep that in the back of your mind. We're going to be learning as we go. I did read the rule book, and for those of you curious, this is the rule book. The front page is for the primary rules. The back side is for special rules, which I'm not going to get into the special stuff today. That's going to be more of a, you know, once we get our feet wet with the core rules, we'll be fine. Um, I did read the rule book, though, and I have a basic understanding of what's going on. Basically, uh, you choose a character, and you roll dice, and you try and capture enemy dice to score points. That, for the most part, is the game. The dice that you get to roll depend on the character that is chosen. Uh, this character has a D8, a D12, D12, D20, and a die of your choice. That's what the X is. If you happen to have two or more X's on the card that you have, like Tanya here, for example, has two X's, you get to choose a D uh, whatever, but it has to be the same. So if you choose a D20 on one X, it has to be a D20 on the other X. So, yeah, there's different characters in here. The ones with just the yellow uh, text, uh, the yellow circles with the black text, that's just the core characters. The ones with the special abilities are the ones with, like, the blue shadow die, or there's the orange rush dice, and I think there's a green one in here somewhere. Yeah, poison dice. They operate, they, they basically break the game a little bit and have players operate a little differently. For example, Poison dice, uh, normally you get points for capturing opponent's dice, but uh, you actually lose points for capturing the poison die. But um, if you end up with a poison die that you started with, you actually lose more points than your opponent does for capturing it. So if you have a poison die, if you start out with one, then you want to get rid of it as soon as possible. You're going to try and manipulate your dice or try and get your opponent to capture it. So the, the gist of the game is, like I said, you choose a character, you get the dice according to the card, and you both roll dice and you compare. Uh, there are two ways to attack in this game, and you have to attack on your turn. If you don't, you have to pass. If two players, if both players pass, then the round ends. Um, so the two ways you can attack in this. Let's say I rolled. Uh, I'm just going to say something like this, and then and then and then and then fifteen. Sure. Okay, one. Okay, so basically, let's say it was Ida Lee's turn and she wanted to do a power attack. That's one of the ones that you can do in this game. She's going to take one of her dice, and as long as it is equal to or exceeds the number that she's going after over here, she can capture it. So in this case, this 15 is equal to this 15. She can capture it. She's going to take my 15, capture it, and whatever die you use to capture another die, you just roll it again. Okay, 14. Now it is my turn. I could do a power attack on her. This 11 here could capture this 5, or this 5 over here. Um, or I could do a skilled attack. A skilled attack is where you combine multiple dice to capture one dice on the other side, but it has to be equal, the sum has to be equal to it. So in this case, I've got an 11 and a 3. I could, that adds up to 14, which is the number of this die here. So I could, 11 plus 3 is 14, I can capture that. And then I'd roll these two dice, and I've got a 3 and 11, and now it is her turn again. And we're going to keep going back and, forth like, back and forth like this until no one can capture any more dice, and we both have to pass. The scoring works uh, for every die that you capture. Let's say that I ended up with this, and uh, she ended up with that. Every die you capture, you take a look at the size of that die. This is a d20, so this is worth 20 points. This is a D6. This is worth 6. This is a D12. This is worth 12. I think, you know, regardless of the number on here, whatever the size of the die is, that is the point value for it. And then whatever die you got to keep, you take half of that. So uh, in this case, this is a D12. Uh, half of that is 6. So this is worth 6 points. I keep that. And then this is a D20. She managed to keep that. She got 10 points for that. Whoever has the most points wins that round, and then the best out of five rounds wins. That is the gist of the core game. Like I said, there are some other ways to play. The back of the rule book, for example, there's poison dice, there's shadow dice, there's the orange rush dice here. There are campaign rules, uh, two-player series elimination, 
auction, uh, multiplayer wars, pocket war, point war, and then you've got multiplayer variants on the right here, free for all, the cycle, ping pong, around the world, drafting rules. So there are other ways to play the game than what I showed you just now. Okay, so uh, we'll go and give this a try, see if we like it. I am Porter here. I've got a D8, a D12, a D20, I should have a D12, and an X, which I think I chose a D4 for that. And then you've got a D4, you've got a D12, uh, okay, wait, 12, 12, oh no, I, okay, I should add 12 here. 20, 20, and you chose a six-sided for that. Here's my D8, okay. So yeah, so D8, D12, D12, D20, and then my X, and then you've got your D4, your D12, your D20s, and your D6, which you chose as your X. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and move these over. So we're gonna both roll these, and the, first, the player that goes first is the person that has the lowest number. So I'm just gonna roll them like that. Uh, yeah, just for this, yeah, just throw them at me. That's fine. I, I won't be, I won't be offended. Not at all. That's how I'm gonna win. That's how, yeah. You knock me out, right? And then you go and sell the game on eBay. You win. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay, you got a one on that. That's pretty good. That's good. No, you're fine. So I got a. I have a D one as well. I have, I have a D one. Oh, I have on my D four. I have a one. Um, so we compare the ones. Actually, you have a one on your D four as well. So that, that cancels out, and then you've got another D1, and so you would get to go first in this case. Okay. So I guess go ahead and... Um, Roll? No, no, you oh. keep those. <laughs> yep, you're good. So... Oh my gosh, did I move something? I don't know, did you? Again, this is just practice, I don't care. So you, you do you. Okay. Um, oh, and for those of you curious, here's a look at the box insert. Uh, the reason why there's a button in this is because, uh, from my understanding, and keep in mind I, I probably wasn't alive back then, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> apparently this is based on a game that involved buttons. Like, uh, people would go around wearing buttons uh, and it, of different characters, like the ones on the cards here. And if someone walked up to someone else on the street and said, oh, so you're, you're Tanya, or you're Porter, whatever, uh, and that's, that's, so then they would battle it out with dice, or whatever the case is, and this was back when. This game is like that, it's, it's a reimagining re of this only with cards instead of buttons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, back to this. So it's you get to, so you can either do a power attack and do one die to one die, or you can combine dice to try and take one, you know, one of mine. Uh. So, again, I, I don't know the strategies of this game yet, but the way I would do it is, I would try and capture my large dice because they're worth 20 points. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's like 20, and then you've got the D12s here, which are 12. Um, when you do a skill attack, can you use more than one? Yes. More than two dice? Yes. As many dice as you want to add up to the number that you're looking for. Okay. So you've got like 2, 1, 1, that's 4. You've got an 8 here. Mm -hmm. So you could 8, well, hmm. Yeah, whatever you want to do. I mean, a 12, 8. So you could do 8, 2, 1, 1 to capture this 12 and then re-roll those other four. Whenever you capture dice with dice, you re-roll the dice that you used. Yeah. All right. Um. Um, which one is this? That's 12, right? That's a d12, yep. Mm. All right, can I use this to capture your d20? Uh, yes, yeah, you can use the 19 to capture the seven. This is, so this is worth 20 points. Okay. And, and you would just re-roll that. And you got a six. A six. Okay. It's fine. And so now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. Okay. So I'm going. So I'm basically I'm going to look at your dice and try and figure out what can she use to capture my dice. I'm going to try and force a pass on you if I can. Like I know my twelve is in danger. Um, my seven. Well, your eight can power attack any of these really. So, but I want to safeguard these if I can. So, all right, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a seven and a one, and equ that equals eight. So I'm going to capture this D20 and then re-roll these two. All right, so three and 12. And then it's my turn. Yeah, now it's your turn. Um... It's a 
three. Can I use this mm -hmm. to capture that? <laughs> to the six? The, the oh, six. The, the three? Yeah. You can, if you want to. It's up to you. Now keep in mind, well, do you have anything to capture the twelves? You have a six, two, one, no, so you don't have enough. I could capture the You could capture the eight okay. with a six and a two. Or you could use the six, one. You can re-roll the one if mm. you want. That Because the one is easily capturable right now. With oh, power. is it? Oh, well, yeah, Because of the power is. attack. Oh, that's right. I could I could just use my D whatever and oh, capture that. Right. Okay. So you may want so to re-roll the... use these three to capture the eight? You could use, yeah, you could use six, one, one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you capture that and you re-roll those. Now, again, keep in mind, folks, I don't know what the strategies are here, but uh, we're getting there. Okay, eight, awesome, two, and a four. Now, in case you are wondering how to read this four-sided die, it's the number that's on the very bottom. The number on the very bottom is the same on all sides. That's how you can tell. Uh, the die that I'm used to have corners, like the numbers are in the corners and all point to one direction, and whatever number's on top is the one you look at, but in this case, the number on the bottom is the one that... You look at it. I I had to Google that. I didn't know. Really? I don't. I don't. I only use six sided. I don't use. I don't play Dungeons and Dragons. I don't play RPGs. Okay. So I yeah. I actually had to look that up. Um, all right. So now it's my turn. I've got twelve, twelve, three. Um, I could power attack that eight back there. Um, but your four seems to be easy target. So I'm gonna go with the. 12, power attack, that 4. Boom. Boom. And then 3. Mm. My turn? Yep, your turn. Um, can I capture 2 dice? <laughs> no, but there are um, cards. That this rush attack, for example, lets you do that. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a special ability that... Uh -oh. um, like we can we can always go over it later, but <laughs> yeah, but that is that is something for those of you at home that are curious about that. Um, characters from Uptown use rush dice. These are represented as an orange. Rush dice have an extra attack as well as an extra vulnerability. Use one of your rush dice to capture two of your opponent's dice. The numbers on the target dice must add up exactly to the number on the attacking die. So, for example, one rush die showing a nine can capture two dice showing a four and a five. And it goes on with some other rules and stipulations, but that's the gist of the rush die. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use all of these to capture that 12. 8, 2, 2. Yep. Okay, so you're going to capture the 12 and you just re-roll all of those. Yep. Let's hope I roll higher. Yeah. Oof. 9, 1, 1. 9, oh, 1, 1. That's terrible. <laughs> all right, so... Did I'm, you capture one of mine? I'm going to what now? You put it back in the game? Mm -hmm. Oh, what, did, what, what did I grab? You captured a 20, didn't you? Did, I did. did I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> My bad. I probably grabbed it by accident. Yeah, that's okay. Didn't I grab something else? Since you went for I grabbed your other D20, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> did bad. you? <laughs> I, I think I rerolled it. All right, yeah, I rerolled it You got to put, put it farther, babe. I need, I need, I know, I know. Put it in the box. No. Oh, yeah, good idea, it. good idea. <laughs> Stuff in the box. All right, so these, I, I'm pretty sure I captured your... D20s. Yeah. Because you, you started with two of them. Yeah. So this is going to be my third capture. I have a three and a three. Mm -hmm. So this is a nine. I can't capture that. Um, I'm going to use a power attack, capture this one, and then re-roll this to try and get a higher number. Six. Ooh. All right. So six and three. Now it's your turn. My turn. Yeah. So you could power attack me. This is a six or a nine. It's a nine. It's a nine. I could power attack you and yep. grab that. Yep. And then you re-roll that. Ten. Ooh. Ooh, good. Okay, so I have to. I'm gonna have to power attack you and get that one mm -hmm. over here. Re-roll this. Two. And then I grab it. Yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah. So in this case, I mean, you. I think you. Well, let's see. I got a D twenty. Mm -hmm. So this is twenty forty. This is an S six. A forty six. And this is a four. That's a uh, fifty. You have, this is a 20, this is a 12, so this is 32, this is 44, this is 50, this is 54, this is plus five, 59. So you won this round, you had more points than I did. I did? Yeah, you get half, whatever uh, dice okay. you keep, you get half those, 
Well, no, it's not five. It's twelve minus uh, six. You get six points for that. Okay. So six. You got sixty points to my fifty, whatever it was. Okay. Does that make any sense? Yeah. So yeah, you you add twenty, twelve, twelve, eight, four plus half the twelve is that's six. Okay. So all of those added together is like sixty. Mine was fifty something. Okay. So you won the first round. Okay. So now we get all of our dice back. Now, as the loser, I can decide to switch out my, my X with something else if I so choose. Mm -hmm. So, and only the loser gets to do that. So just to try to mix things up, I'm going to go ahead and, and take a, a D, I'll take another D12. Sure. So here's your D20, here's your D20. Here is, I should have a D20 in here somewhere. And then I get a D12. I get a D8. You get a D4. A D6, uh, D8, and D12. Okay, so these are your dice. Okay. These are my dice. Right, so we'll do another round. To see. Right, so you get to roll two. Look at you. You got a one. So you get to go first. I don't have a one. Okay. Five, three, one, eleven. Okay. So I get to go first. Hmm? Oh my. I probably messed up the dice. I mean, I, probably, I don't know if I used your dice by accident, the ones I captured, to capture yours last round. So, even if I... You still won. I don't, I don't think you did. Okay, I just grabbed them by accident. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Alright, well, so you won anyway. But anyway, okay, so you're... You get to go first. You got 1, 3, 11, 5, and 5. Alright, I will use... A lot of low ones. Oh, <laughs> I know. Um, I'm gonna use the... Oh, I can't. <laughs> Never mind. Apologies for the traffic that you hear in the background. It's raining outside and the sound like reverberates tenfold yep. when cars go flying by. I'm going to use this 11 to capture. What is this one? Seven. Is D20? Yes, a D20. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I roll it. Yep. Oh, my Two. God. That's, that's great. Terrible. Good job. Oh, I'm going to use my lowest possible. I'm going to use a three so I can re roll this. Because I don't like... I'm going to take your two. Yeah. Give me something high. Eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use... Um, this one and this one. Capture okay. the eight. Five and three is eight. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Twelve and three. Twelve. Good job. Uh, that that's one's... Well, I can't get it because I don't have exact... I have thirteen. Um, I'm going to power this one and, and re-roll this five. Eight. Ooh, That's eight. better. A little better. I'm going to... What number is that? Three? Three. Mm -hmm. Can I use this to capture it? What is it? Three? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. It has to be greater than or equal to. So yeah, you can. Yeah. Just cause. Just cause. I'm gonna see what happens. Makes sense. <laughs> Three. Three. Good job. <laughs> All right. Eight and five is thirteen. I'm gonna have to use my five to capture this six-sided die. Although I probably might have gone for the. Well, uh, having gone, I should have gone for the one or the the higher number over here, but. <laughs> Alright, this is a, a nine. Okay. <laughs> um, so eight, nine, and then you're three and twelve. That's a twelve. These are both twelve. Both twelves, uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna use this to capture um, that one. Okay, cool. And then you have to re roll your twelve. Right. Give me something eight or lower, 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 twelve! <laughs> I gotta capture this. <laughs> Reroll this. Give me. Well, it doesn't matter what I roll. I'll take it. Eleven. Oh now I roll high. So now you you capture I that. It. Yeah. So and I you <laughs> you won this one. I'm not even gonna bother Are you that. Sure? No, I'm nah, pretty sure. I might have lost. No. <laughs> no. 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 You're trust me. You've got a twenty. So, yeah, you're good. No, you got my twenties too, though. I got one twenty. You got a. You kept a twenty and you scored a twenty. This one, um, okay. You're good. You're tr you won. Okay. <laughs> you won. You got it. Um, 
So yeah, that's the game, really. I mean, it, well, the core game. Like I said, there are other ways to play in the back of the rule book. Um, the poison dice, like I said, you're trying to capture, or you're trying to push those poison di dice off onto your opponent so that you don't get left with it. Anything that's left, if you have a poison die and you get left with it at the end of the round, uh, you lose equal to the point of that die. Um, so if it's a D8, you lose eight points. Whereas if you give it to your opponent, uh, they only lose four. So it's better for the player with the poison die to pass it off as quickly as possible. Otherwise, they lose more points. So yeah, there, there's many ways to play this game. Um, I think, I, I, I don't, I don't want to say it's strictly luck because there is some skill involved in choosing what dice to go after what dice. Like this is one of those, if you're good at calculating odds, like, and you're good at like looking at all the dice and going, okay, well this is an eight, he can capture this and this, so I need to take this, but then I'll have to re-roll this, and then that might change. So there's a lot of what-ifs in this game, but if you're good at calculating the odds, like I was saying, and uh, I don't want to say counting dice, but if, if you're good at figuring out what has the least risk to you and make your opponent pass. Because you saw, every time Ida Lee went first, she had momentum. She, I, she would take one, I would take one. She would take one, I would take one. And I kept, I was losing, I was down a die versus her the entire time. So I, if I was good at this, maybe I could have found a way to look at her dice and capture something that she would not be able to use against me in the future. I don't know. I'm just theorizing here. What did you think? Was this something? It was, it was cute. I liked it. Um, it was more sim simple than the other games that we've played. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I wish the cards had more. Well... Do you wish they had special abilities? or? Yeah, I guess. But then again, you everyone has like different... Yeah, everyone dice. has different numbers. So, so. like this, this guy... Like, the higher numbers are power characters, whereas the lower numbers are speed characters. Speed being, like, they get to go first usually in the round, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because they have lower dice, they, the, the chances of rolling a 1 or, you know, something low is better. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I honestly don't know what to think about it. Um, if, it's, if, it's, if this is sold for, like, 10, 15 bucks, and you and your family are just interested in a quick card game, a quick dice game... This, I think, might be a cool little war game to play. Like, if, you're, if you play cards a lot, like war, I, I have nightmares of war because that game never ended for me. <laughs> My grandmother and I would sit there for hours and play war, and I'm like, please let it be over. It'd be down to two cards, and then somehow the other person would miraculously come back. And, you know, it just, we couldn't, we could never end the game. At least with this game, it ends at some point. Yeah. And it's actually very quick. You saw we busted out two rounds, and we're only 22 minutes into the video. So that was Button Men. If it's if it's the right price for you, um, and you're you know you're interested in dice rolling game, competitive dice rolling games, then you may want to give this one a look. Uh, but like I said, there's multiplayer variants in the back, campaign rules in case you want to add a little bit more oomph to it, uh, and then these special abilities that you can add in uh, via these character cards here. So uh, special thanks to Ida Lee for helping me out with this one. As always, it was a pleasure. This is Vincent Idalee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care.